do your top 10 spring fragrance because everybody does it all right i will do it that's fine let's do like a top 10 spring niche i never done niche all right let's do that Oh, I didn't say bye. Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lover. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing my top 10 spring fragrance, but it's only gonna be niche so I've done a lot of research for this video because I wanted to add something a bit different so just before as you can see I'm in my garden there's like a massive ray of light just over here but I can't like remove it so I don't know what to do with it really so it's just gonna be like that I just wanted to give you like a little bit of like positivity and a bit of fresh hair because I'm, I'm lucky enough to have like a little garden so I can do my video outside today and I so it will change me a bit from staying inside so you know and it's very sunny so you know and it's quite warm so it's the best temperature to do talking about spring scent really The first fragrance I wanted to talk about today is called Nuit de Megève. It's from Eight and Bob, and it's a scent that I discovered recently. And if you like something like Terre d'Armes, you're probably gonna really enjoy this fragrance. It's basically Terre d'Armes, so very vetiver-like scent, a gentleman, very classy but you will remove all the orange bitterness so of course you've got that petit grain a grapefruit like a vivid effect at the beginning but it's really not the dominance and the dominance is much more on the vetiver and you've got this oris effect that gives like a powdery note to the fragrance which is so nice if you love also sycamore from chanel you're probably going to really enjoy this one it's really like an easy gentleman scent uh, even like for me i really enjoy to wear it it gives me that vintage vibe without being too much it's a very easy going fragrance not like the, the very sticky vetiver green scent it's much more something like that is quite um light and delicate and also it's a bit like romantic without being too sharp it's like a semi-sweetness that gives the scent a little bit like something very attractive i think i'm gonna wake up everyone the next fragrance i wanted to talk about is a fragrance from diptych and my scent that i use every day at the moment is a philosicos but i wanted to try something different and i've been trying a lot nowadays l'ombre dans l'eau by diptyque and i really wanted to enjoy and to talk about it because i really enjoy the scent a lot so it means in english shadow in the water a slightly like rose vintage like scent is nearly like you open the library and you scent smell that very vintage old book kind of scent for spring when it's not too warm i feel it's perfect it's a scent that smell a bit like it's been raining on the grass just like it is right now like you see it's like morning and the grass is slightly wet it's relaxing it's also quite salty so it's a rose that is slightly salty marine obviously it's nearly a bit aquatic so it feels like it's tickling tickling a little bit your nose which i really enjoy and also i find it very alluring so it smells a bit like nature like which i really enjoy it's like you walking in a fresh garden in the morning it really gives me that impression and it stays also really as it is on my skin it doesn't move to something different which i really enjoy for the day is if you want something like smell like a cologne but like a bit not a citrusy very different this is so nice i feel it's got a little bit this rosy tone without being feminine like it's very delicate number eight is a fragrance that i so 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 enjoy since few months now so um i recently like uh, during last summer discovered zoologist fragrance and i really enjoy the scent i really struggle to uh find the 
I decided to include in this top because I wanted to include Chameleon, which I really enjoy, and Human Bird as well, that I think is really nice for spring. But my favorite of the range is Dragonfly, and this is for me the essence of a spring scent. Like a chypre floral, so it smells slightly vintage, but not too much. Really, what you can really smell for me is the cherry blossom. It really smells like a sakura tree. There's also this rain notes that is supposed to be inside. For me, it's more like it's been slightly raining, but it's still sunny. So you, you can imagine yourself in a, in a little forest, there's a pond, there's some dragonflies flying and it's slightly raining, but not too much. This is really, close your eyes, smell this fragrance, you will see that. It's also really nice because it's got that milky, ricey uh, creaminess, which I so, so enjoy. It makes it even more romantic scent. Really like um, enchanting. It's more like when you smell it, you can see like a dragonfly or some fairies, or you know, like something like really, floating it's just like a poetry this fragrance is soft as a cotton shirt so really it's so nice uh, zoologist fragrance because every time you smell one and you picture yourself the animal you can really see the environment the animal is progressing in and I really felt transport by this brand that's why I so so enjoy it and but dragonflies was always still my favorite Number seven is from Maison Francis Coeur de Jean, which is definitely uh, one of my favorite house at the moment. Uh, one of the favorite scents I enjoy is Grand Soir, but it's not really the time to wear Grand Soir in the spring scent. It's slightly getting warmer, so you know, more for the evening. I think for me, it, my second favorite fragrance is called Gentle Fluidity in Gold. And I would say if you're looking for a spring fragrance, MFK is a brand that is a bank of spring fragrance. You've got the Aqua Universalis that are really good for spring. You've got Apom, Amiris, uh, you've got Petit Matin. These fragrances are really amazing for spring, but my personal favorite is Gentle Fluidity in Gold. So it was pairing with Gentle Fluidity in Silver, which I really, I didn't really enjoy this one. But basically these fragrances are the two same ingredients inside, but they are managed differently. So you get completely a different scent, but it's the same ingredient, which is absolutely amazing. I love when um, perfumers are creating something different so it's so nice. It's a very generous and enveloping composition which is something I really like because it's a bit more smoother and it feels very solar as well. It's just like a ray of light, just like we have just there. There's also a touch of baby powder scent. It smells quite powdery, it smells like a, a bit like a makeup bag technically, but I feel on men it can be really nice. It is a very simple scent, ultra luminous, and it's a skin scent as well, so it's not the uh, the projection massively blah 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 no it's something very delicate but it's something that I really enjoy for spring I don't want to project that much I want something that is quite cozy a cocooning a skin scent so I, I absolutely adore this scent and I think it's my next purchase from the house because when when I, I can't purchase it because you know it's a it's a big investment but I feel you invest for a lot of quality and number six and it's a fragrance that I got to know a few months weeks ago and it's uh, Neroli Voyage by Floris if you're looking for a good Neroli scent this is absolutely stunning it's actually their latest release and it's a scent I'm obsessed with Neroli scent I've got a lot at home and this is from far I think is going to the first the top the top of the Neroli but it's interesting with this Neroli it's not a sharp Neroli it's not like a baby powder Neroli it's more like an aquatic Neroli so there's a bit of marine note so it's nearly like that sea type of vibe that you have. It's nearly like you, you're having a cruise on a boat uh, alone with someone you like and that's it and it really smells like that, like a little paradise island or coastal holidays and I think it's those days where we have to stay home. Those kind of scents are very much more welcome and it's nice to dream a little bit like you just listen to music, spray your fragrance and you dream and escape somewhere different. It also makes me think of a little cocktail you know you get in the summer, not like a margarita, very citrusy, but something like a little cocktail, you know, you're sipping very delicate, slightly sugary, but not too much. And there's a touch of lemon 
bonbon as well inside, which is so lovely. Orange is very calming and very sunny at the same time. Next fragrance is uh, from Jo Malone and it's called Jasmine Sunback and Marigold. So this is something that is my in my collection since. Oh, that's cute. Um, maybe two years or something like that and I, I really enjoy it. I always wear it just for spring and sometimes summer but I really focus on oh, that's so cute. It's like a little bird picking flowers. So this is like a very solar set again but more like you know you just apply some monoeil or some um, sunscreen a little bit it makes me think of that that stickiness but uh, with jasmine sunback and jasmine sunback comes from India and this Jasmine is the much more solar, creamy one. So you know in grass you have some sunbag that is a bit honeyed or a bit greener. This is for me the most solar ones. Like you know those festivals in India where they, um, there's an explosion of color everywhere. This really makes me think of that. It's an explosion of color. I love Jasmine sunbag in the fragrance. I think it gives that uh, uplifting note, creaminess, sexiness as well. It's really my happy scent for uh, this season, especially when you have to stay home. It's nice to spray something that makes you feel a bit like happy. So that makes me so happy. And it's got that very Jo Malone type of scent, meaning it smells nearly like you're gonna have a little tea with your little cup of tea uh, in an English garden. That really give me that vibe. Very, very sultry. Next one is something I've talked about in my sexiest uh, men's uh, fragrance. Uh, don't know if you remember that video, uh, but it's Colonia Intensa di EDP from Aqua di Parma. And this is for me a timeless classic. It's for a gentleman or a lady but it's a timeless Italian classic it follows all the rules of the Italian classic perfumery and for me it's something that it just go in a lot of different categories it's very versatile it's like a big masterpiece and it's been created by two amazing master perfumers which is Alberto Morillas and Francois de Machy you put them together you have Aqua di Parma Colonia it's a very zesty and sparkling scent compared to the other one it's more like a very like much more thick bitter so like very aromatic you have a little bit of ginger that you can really smell because it's slightly bitter sophisticated is mature is the high class fragrance I would say 100% and that what is nice is you've got all this citrusy sharpness that makes me think of the classic classic eau de Cologne but then you've got a dry down that is a, mi a bit more warmer mature which is so nice because it's a perfect balance of everything and I feel like this this is would be quite nice for summer as well even if it's called Intensa maybe for like a, an evening summer scent it's so beautiful so classy Number three is a vetiver from a Vetiver Extraordinaire from Frédéric Mal. And this is a scent that I really enjoy as well because I love my vetiver scent. And compared to the first vetiver from Eight and Bob, this one is a bit more sharper. It's really much more greener, like the grass uh, that you can pick really. Um, this is something much more earthy. So it's really for the vetiver lovers. If you don't like vetiver, you're not gonna like what I'm talking about. It's nice for spring to have something that smells like nature, like very grassy, earthy, very confident and sophisticated smell. Um, it feels a bit more warmer than the other one and I feel this is a bit more aggressive than the other fragrance. I feel this is more for a scent that is a bit more formal as well. It's not as nature-like and you know something you can just pull off like this for the daytime. It's something that's got a bit more character than the other one. It's much more um, Serious. I personally smell a lot of myrrh inside because it gives that very incense smell. It's like a bit, not churchy, but a little bit. That gives a bit of smokiness to the fragrance. It's got a bit of cloves as well, which is not really usual with vetiver. It gives that uh, spiciness without being too harsh to the fragrance. So it's something very sophisticated. Number two is something I never talked about in my channel and I'm really glad to open it with this one. It's something very different inside the top, I would say. So it's Atelier des Ors and it's uh, Le Coeur des Anges. This is more like a celebration of colors. It's a very harmonious scent. What you can really, really smell in that fragrance is the blood orange. It's the star ingredient. If you don't like the sharpness and the juiciness, of blood orange you might not gonna enjoy that but this smells like a very juice it smells like a juice it's a very juicy it's very like um 
liquidation is much more like a sweet flow so compared to the other one it, there's nothing compared to it actually in the top that I've gave it's much more the sweetest fruitiness very unusual but it feels really refreshing for uh, springtime it's something that you can probably enjoy in the summer as well but it's quite sweet you know so that's why I'm adding it in the spring because it's not too warm not too cold so I think you need still a bit of coziness and sweetness really happy scent again something that can up lift your mood just like this and again uh, talking quickly about the bottle the bottle is stunning you see you've got those golden flakes inside which is beautiful and it smells a bit more sweet and it really makes me think of a tart like a pie like a sweet sweet pie very effervescent as well the opening feels very fizzy like right to the face so it's quite strong actually when you first smell it, it's like whew, there we go it's very effervescent goes also like a mineral tone that is quite nice and a dry down that goes a bit like more a warm oriental on my skin which is nice but you can still smell a lot this blood orange the first one is something again different um, it's something that really goes more to the winter than to the summer if, if we in spring like you know it's still in the transition it's a scent that I uh, discovered really recently it's a Piano Santal uh, from um, L'Orchestre and I do really enjoy this scent for its milkiness. I love a sandalwood scent to be honest and this scent is an easy going sandalwood very 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 creamy and it's got that milky note that gives again a creaminess to the fragrance so it's like a potion of creaminess but it's nice because it feels not too heavy so I would say for spring when it's still a bit like cold outside like you can wear that really nicely even for like an evening or spring Spring. It smells nearly like syrupy as well. It's a very simple complication. Uh, com composition, not too complicated, which I think is really welcome in those type of uh, days. Like complicated scent for me is more like for winter, you know, when you want something a bit more complex. This is like very easy going, a woody that is very very easy to wear. And it's also got a note of cashmere so it feels like nearly like this fabric that is very smooth. It's a lot of smoothiness in this fragrance, lots of coziness and also you've got a touch of ambrex scent so to uplift the fragrance really. Oh there's a little squirrel! Anyway I'm done I need to show you this it's so cute. Oh, voilà. There he is. <laughs>